today. Hi. <laughs> Got Tony here. And um, yeah, we're gonna get into some some natural light stuff. We've got some cool, cool areas here. Yeah. I hope it doesn't look this dark on camera. It usually doesn't, but um, yeah, we're gonna get into some stuff. We are, where are we now? Cardiff. Cardiff Bay. Cardiff, yeah. Cardiff Bay. I've come, this is the first time I actually left England. <laughs> first time I've left England to go to another country in yeah. the United Kingdom. First time in Wales, right? Yeah. So it's literally, I know Americans are baffled how I said I'm in another country, but I'm in the United Kingdom. United Kingdom, England, London is not the same thing. <laughs> All different. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, we're mm -hmm. going to get some shooting. So I'm going to use this, uh, the cheap 35. If you see my last video, I might use this. Um, it's bad boy. I don't know if I'm gonna have to use this. <laughs> it's like super close. This one, nice. like basically a zoom. Yeah. One three five. Um, obviously the goat, and um, yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. This is this is next shoot location by the way. Look at that, perfect. Mm -hmm. Got my fan there, saw it. But um, yeah, so where what uh, advice you got for? Let's do one one for photographers, one for models, or maybe OnlyFans creators, girls. Okay, so one for photographers first. Yeah, yeah? I would say be confident with your work but also be open to criticism because you need to be able to learn new tactics and learn new things and grow and you can't do that unless you're open to some form of criticism you know um, also be confident in your abilities as well I do think it's very important and I think it kind of shines through as well when somebody is confident in their work mm -hmm. yeah um, but only fans creators I would say seriously stick at it like it to be able to do like really well on OF mm -hmm. to be like successful you really have to like target it with kind of like a business mind and almost like very strategically so I would say stick at it keep doing the things that you need to do and you will eventually see some pay off so what do you think of like what, more specifically like even what we were talking about maybe not so much we might get cancelled but <laughs> the UK girls like because I notice a lot of their stuff looks the same and there's not much effort. What, like the uh, um, their content? Yeah, like content wise, like yeah. what would you advise for them to do that's like different? I think so. It would probably be good to work out what your fan base wants to see. So if you offer the option to your fan base and say, like, would you like to see some professional photos? Because you could do a poll on your OF. And if a lot of people say that they would like to, then it would probably be a good business investment to, you know, pay for a professional shoot and have some of that, like, chucked in there, you know. Um, but also, sometimes you get people who are happy with just things off the phone because they see it as more authentic and more like a girlfriend experience. But I would just find out what your fans want. They will probably like to see some professional shots, so yeah. an investment for sure. Listen to the, the, the professional part, not the phone part. <laughs> just ignore that whole section. <laughs> Get a photographer, <laughs> pay. <laughs> <to see> it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's good. I think because I think the most thing, even thing we were talking about earlier, is like the people traveling, like the the, the bigger creators, yeah. are usually always traveling or. 
yeah. destination, not just like, do you know what I mean, phone content in the yeah, bedroom. Yeah, exactly. This is the other thing. If you can, if you can't really, say you can't afford to pay out for a professional shoot at the moment, or like, you know, it's just not one of your main kind of things that you want to do, then even just try and switch up the location, like see if you can like go and do some shots outdoors, for example, or like, you know, go to a spa and try and get some like, actually, I might be giving any legal advice. <laughs> don't have nude in spas and take photos. I don't know if it's okay to do. But, <laughs> but abroad, a lot abroad really works. Um, but yeah, I think, to be honest, I do think do some professional shoots. And I've been pressured into saying that now. <laughs> <laughs> He's holding a gun to my head. <laughs> uh, you didn't see that. You didn't see that. <laughs> but no, seriously, I think definitely switch it up, switch up the background, switch up where you are in the world if you can, and switch up the quality and stuff as well, like it's just, yeah, it's just helpful. Collectivetravel.com, shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> Travel and shoot, do you know what I mean? Uh, I didn't even ask her to say that, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and then also, what we were saying about comfortability as well, like model when they're, when they're shooting and stuff. Yeah, so... With we just, photographers saying, you know, yeah, we were just like discussing earlier how like photography, like when you do like photo shoots, even if it's not nude, it's still quite intimate, you know? Like I feel like photo shoots are quite an intimate thing. Um, and you need to have that comfortability, you know, between the model and the photographer and vice versa. So I think it's just important to make sure you know what your limits and levels are gonna be and just make sure you stick to them. Like if someone asks you to do something else, you just, you just don't do it if you don't want to do it you know like that's all it needs to be um but also i think it's good to understand the photographer's kind of work as well like yeah. for example if i reach out to a photographer who shoots all fully nude and i get there and i'm like well i don't want to do nudes but it's what they do then there's a little bit of a communication issue there you know yeah, so i we, think we get that a lot yeah, <laughs> yeah so you need to make sure you're working with people who kind of like you know similar vibes for what you want and what they want and then there shouldn't really be any problems you know that's what i think so that's advice <laughs> great advice there so in uh, conclusion pay every photographer <laughs> <laughs> And I was up Making a I mess. Was up, like, this is the next scene. <laughs> We're baking cakes, making some pizza, whatever you want to call it. Let me get a booty like just here. Yes. <laughs> then I can get the, the flour involved. has been getting a lot of action today. So <laughs> well, next we got the, the bikini set. Are you gonna try and put on here? Because yeah, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. We need to get this in 4K. Let's get this. Oh, I'm ready. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like a tuck and roll. <laughs> <laughs>
Americans watching, this is vital. For if you're coming to the UK, bring a model these, she'll love you forever. PG tips or Tetley. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this, this is, is like, like, what was this, third? I think this might be the fourth cup I'm making <laughs> in the space of a few hours, but it's all good. See what I mean? Okay. It's, it's a set. It's my energy. I don't need protein. <laughs> I need some PG tips. And three sugars. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> you mean no sugar? <laughs> that is the end of another epic vlog. Let me know who you think I should shoot in the comments next. Who do you want to see on here? Like, comment, and subscribe. Go to Collective Travel. Come and shoot with me abroad crazy events coming next year so uh yeah like comment subscribe catch you in the next one